praise the Lord this morning. I'd like to welcome you to the Breakthrough Church. It's truly an honor to be here today to share a word of God with you. And let me open in prayer. Father, we thank you today for many miracles. We thank you today for grand things today for, your, for us and for your people as well, Lord God. We thank you for every step that we take, Lord God, that you enlarge in the territory. We send back every attack of darkness against us, Lord God. And we thank you today for a power move of your glory. And touch every mind, Father God, that they may receive a fresh word today in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to share a word with you today because uh, this word is so powerful, I'd like to share with you. And I'm going to tell you why. Many times when we come into our format of salvation with Christ, it's real easy to get confused pertaining to what weapons we have to fight with. Most people believe that because uh, I'm saved, I fight as the world fight pertaining to my emotions. And in reality, it's, it's the contrary to that because our weapons is totally different than the weapons of the world. And probably one of the reasons why we struggle so much in areas in our life pertaining to uh, fighting the darkness off of us. And it keeps returning back. It keeps returning back. Keep returning back. And we wonder what's going on here. Well, the power of God is real and active today, just like it always has been. The issue is, is that I need to understand my weapon that I fight with. I cannot fight anything on this earth pertaining to areas of my life with my emotions. I can't fight these things thinking and hoping I must use the word of God to fight with because the word of God is my weapon. See, the word of God is so flexible because it not only saved my soul, but it brings me joy, it brings me healing, it brings me power, it brings me strength. My prayer is my power. I can pray for people and they get healed. I can pray for people oh, from here to Africa and the word of God will be so powerful as I speak it out of my mouth because he said he sent this word and it healed them. So today, I'm coming out of John chapter 15. John is the New Testament, okay, of the gospel. Chapter 15, verse 1, I'm going to talk to you about that. And I really need you to understand that your prayer is your weapon. It's not your emotion. Will things get dark sometimes? Yes, because that's the time when things is in the makings, when it get dark. I have to really understand that. Why do things get so dark on me when I'm standing in, 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 the, in the word of God? Because that's the time that things is in the broom process. That's the time. Right now, somebody may be going through something right now pertaining to health or whatever the case may be, and they wonder, why is it taking so long? Well, as you may know and you may not know, that the word of God is working right now, this moment. And do you know that it takes some of that to make some of this? That's why Romans said all things work together for the good. It has to be some of that in order to make the diamond. Watch this. This is what Jesus said in chapter 15, verse 1. He said, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he purges. Whoa, to me, that, that, that a light came on right there, right? Because that explains to me why I'm going through what I'm going through. But what? God is purging me. What, what happens when I get purged? I should grow. See? And it really exposes my hidden motives in my relationship with him because I begin to understand this principle. Is it my will being done or his? Because, see, if it's just my will, then I don't want none of the purge. I just want the blessing. Forget the lesson. And every blessing, there's a lesson. And I like to go back when he said he cuts off every branch. He cuts off every branch in him that bears no fruit. Is it obvious today that we see that when we're not saved? 
Is it obvious today that we see all the corruption and all the evilness that's operating and it's not in a good way in the Holy Spirit? Have we seen that the love of God has been placed aside for the love of the world today? One of the things that's so important to me that stands out in that, that, that purge process is that when he began to purge me, I began to grow. Now, I can resist it if I want to. That's my decision. I can resist it. And most of the time when I resist the purge, I stay in one place. I do not grow. Because, see, the purge is not for me to handle the purge. The purge is for me to relax and let it go. And when I relax and let it go, I receive a peace. Like right now, there's some people that's, that's fighting right now. It could be in their finances. It could be in health reasons. It could be family men. Whatever the case is, let it go and watch God. Just let it go. Stop trying to control it. That's the resistance part. The purge has to come. I thank God so much. And I'm not telling you that I enjoyed the, the fire. But the fire is what brings up a diamond. And God won't mean to be fruitful. So he says that he cuts off every branch that in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he purges, so that it will be even more fruitful. So the fire got to come before the diamond. What fire am I in today? That's the question. See, my weapon, my weapon, every believer in Christ's weapon is their prayer life. It's not the circumstances or the situation. It's the power of God. Am I looking at the situation today or am I looking at God? Am I worshiping God today or am I worshiping the situation, what's going on? Because when you get in that place where you're going to run out of options and you don't have nowhere else to turn, you're going to relax and you're going to sit back and enjoy the ride. Because he's going to drive anyway, whether I want to receive it or not. It has to happen. That's why every knee is going to bow. And every tongue is going to confess that he's Lord. Might be different circumstances that we got to go through to get to where we need to get to, but that's the ultimate call. We are. And I like it when he said that I will become more fruitful. So what type of fruit am I showing today? Is it in my dedication? Is it in my commitment? Is it even in the fire what I'm going through? Can I still have joy? Well, I, how you going to have joy and you in the fire? Because Jesus is my hope. And long as Jesus is my hope and not me being my hope, then he's going to get me through. That's how. He's my hope. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Whoa, what do, what do you mean by that? He means that the word today has been released upon you to get a release and breakthrough today. Now, what you going to do with it? Are we going to stay in the situation where we sit in and we just worrying ourselves on the law? Or are we outwardly worrying ourselves and just spinning in circles because the enemy is tormenting me? He said, you have been made clean. I want to encourage you to take your eyes off the situation and put it on Jesus. And if you need to, make it right today. Not tomorrow, next week. Don't listen to the devil voice telling you you ain't got to do it or you can do it later on. Now. And talk to God. Get into that word and also go back to John chapter 15 and read that for yourself. Don't try to read it like a novel. Just read verse by verse and pray for you open it. And we like to hear your testimonies because I believe that they're coming and they're already here. And with that, be blessed. My name is Pastor Clayton.